What's the biggest lie you've ever heard while you were online dating? I'm curious. Because that's what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> you can't be able to watch. I was at an event the other day and I was listening to this woman talk about, it was actually a very funny story about how when she was dating, she was lying to all of these people. And it got me to thinking, why do we keep lying when we're dating, but then being upset when other people lie to us? Like, Where is our level of self-integrity, our level of respect for ourselves and for others when we catch ourselves lying? And I don't mean little lies, although that's an issue as well, but like big, straight out, honest lies. So let's talk a little bit more about this. I want to break this down a little bit. Because one of the biggest challenges I see is that people have a hard time being authentic with each other. And this happens in any kind of relationship. We get a little bit nervous the other person isn't going to like us. Or we're hiding something because a friend told us and we're not supposed to tell anybody else. But sometimes we're maintaining privacies. Sometimes we're not sure how the other person is going to react. Sometimes we're just lying to ourselves. And everybody lies. Even the most honest person sometimes tells small mistruths. And I'm not saying it's good or that makes it acceptable. And I want you to look at the bigger picture of where is your level of integrity and honesty with yourself and with others. Like, so for example, this woman was talking about how she went to this dating event and she got put in the wrong group, the wrong age category. And instead of just telling people like, oops, I'm really sorry, I totally got put in the, age cat the wrong age category. I'm not actually interested. I feel like our ages are too far apart. What she started doing is saying things like, hey, I've got eight kids. Do you want to be my baby daddy? And things like that. Now, it's a super funny story, right? Until you start thinking about the people that she was talking to. How are they feeling right now? sitting across from this woman who really is pretending like she's only interested in them because they might have money. How do you think that affects them, their self-esteem, their own sense of value? And for this woman, where is her lack of ability to just be honest and be like, hey, I screwed up. Like, I do not want to date anybody in this age range and we can still have a conversation who do you know that might be my age? Here's what I'm looking for. Do you know anybody? Or hey, who are you as a person? Let's just have a conversation and meet each other as real human beings. So this is the thing that we run into with dating is sometimes we're so busy thinking about ourselves, right? Because sometimes that's human nature. Let's think about me first before I think about anybody else. So we're so busy. What do they think about me? How are they going to react? Are they going to dump me? Are they going to reject me? That we actually forget that we're talking to another human that has some of those same sensitivities, that has some of those same emotions. And so when we start lying to others to maybe save face for ourselves, we're also breaking down our own integrity. We're breaking down our own level of self-respect, right? Because why, for example, would I put up a fake picture of me on online dating that's 10 years old when I know that in the first date where they meet me, they're going to be able to tell it was the wrong picture because immediately you've broken trust. Immediately you've broken rapport. Is that what you want? If you're really out there to try to find somebody that's going to have honesty and integrity and treat you with kindness, you need to first have honesty and integrity and treat yourself with kindness, right? If you catch yourself lying, step back and notice, what am I actually truly afraid of? Where am I not valuing myself? Or where am I expecting others to do something, give me something that I need. Now, granted, some of us have learned since we were a child that the only way we get attention is by getting angry or lying or being perfect or creating conflict or whatever it is, or being the peacemaker. So 
So if we can step back, release those emotions, release those fears through something like tapping, through counseling, through therapy of some sort, through any kind of um, deep emotional healing work, hypnotherapy, neurolinguistic programming, any of those things, emotion code, there's so many, I could list, I could list like a hundred of them, right? When you release that in yourself, you are going to have better relationships. People are going to be able to feel that you are treating them with respect. And even if the person sitting across the table is not right for you, you get to create a connection. You get to hold yourself in your truth. And when you're not holding yourself in truth, you're changing your energetic field. If you can show up with honesty and integrity and curiosity to every person that you meet, whether you're online texting them, whether you're having a phone conversation or whether you're in person, when you show up true, authentic, connected, honest, as well as non-judgmental to the best of your ability, because of course we all have first impressions, we all have natural, this is gonna work for me, this isn't gonna work for me, intuition and instincts. And when you show up real, you are magnifying your own energy in a positive way. And when you're showing up lying, cheating, talking about things that aren't true, not wholly in yourself, that fear, that dishonesty reverberates through your energy system and other people can feel that. Even if they don't catch on right away, even if they don't know exactly what they're feeling, they'll figure it out. They'll figure out something's off. Those little yellow flags, those little red flags, that intuitive sense of like, something's not quite in alignment here. And then you lose so many opportunities, don't you? I know people who are married to people that they never thought would be, they'd be in a relationship with. Like they were friends or they were someone they actually argued with at work and then ended up later really learning each other and getting married and having really great relationships. So why do you lie? I don't know. Are you ready to get over it? Move through it? I think it's helpful. Comment below. I want to hear what is the biggest lie you've ever heard while online dating? I'd love to hear it. Until then, you are loved, you are loving, and you are lovable.